Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm Ajay Garde and I'm here to deliver awareness session on program elective IoT applications. Scope of subsets. So it is divided into four models. The first one is introduction and ecosystem, second is IoT protocols, third is data storage and analysis, and the last one is its application study. IoT. So why IoT now? IoT has come a long way since British entrepreneur Kevin Ashton first coined the term in 1999. But that time, because of some limitations in processing speed of processors, we could not develop applications around IoT. But now it is possible because of standardized IoT stack and enhanced processor computational capabilities. IoT protocols. So different protocols right from the network layer to application layer are listed over here so if you understand and learn it with interest you will be able to design applications like in proper protocol at the specific layer so this is going to be the part of our curriculum iot applications if you see iot applications so it ranges in the different verticals of the industries right from agriculture to healthcare to cities to energy to transportation to manufacturing or industrial applications so if you look into this these are the applications which almost cover every possible sector of the industries so obviously it will give a lot of opportunities for you it will open a lot of opportunities for you in the future if you excel in this particular domain if we look into the part of the higher studies so it's an elective course it's not a compulsory subject so when you select it you actually elected it over other subjects so it defines your interest your passion your inclination in career it defines your project area your prominent space in the area are going to be covered with this particular project and this particular course also so when you select this elective you should be very much aware that why you are going ahead with this subject if we talk about career opportunities so i have listed here some prominent roles which are available in the market now so it's just not limited to this there are a lot of opportunities in iot sector if you talk about the iot platform providers in 2020 5 billion dollars were spent on iot platforms and the market is expected to grow to 28 billion dollar by 2026 a lot of industries pouring their funds in developing iot ecosystems and developing iot applications Apart from the curriculum, I recommend you to go ahead with the professional certifications which are available online. This would help you to excel in the domain. So parallelly, if you learn our curriculum and if you, dis, uh, if you do these professional certifications, it will definitely add some value to your resume. About the course, IoT application program elective 6, it is around this particular Contents. So the very first unit is introduction and ecosystem. Second unit is about the wireless communication standards in which you are going to learn about the Bluetooth protocol, wireless, LAN, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, and ZP protocol, six low band protocol. In unit number three, it's about programming IoT devices, specifically from networking to cloud. So the components involved from networking to cloud are going to be covered in the unit number three. And in unit number four, it is from IoT H to cloud, cloud protocols. So all the components, the protocols used between H to cloud going to be there in unit number four. So the protocols like MQTT, MQTT SN, COAP, HTTP, MQP, likewise, such protocols are going to be studied in unit number four. So if you can see the overall syllabus of this IoT applications, it it is more inclined towards applications. So if you no protocols to be used at a particular layer you would be able to design iot application very efficiently about the lab the labs it starts from very basic to the advanced so the very basic like in the very first it's bluetooth protocol in the second it is implementation using some development boards and handling the data okay to and from the cloud so the cloud is involved in the unit number uh, in the experiment number two in the third zigbee protocol is involved in the fourth it is tcp udp in the fifth it is six low pan low pan protocol so likewise you can see in every experiment one protocol is involved 
and around it a module a small application it is going to be demonstrated and at last once you gain the knowledge uh, in terms of the protocol at what layer what is to be used then in the experiment number eight you then will be able to design iot application selecting proper protocol at proper uh, layer so this way the iot application lab is designed i have taken the references from these links apart from this if you have any difficulty any queries you can reach out to me thank you